Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about round of error when you do this kind of approximation and as I think you remember uh, we have discussed these error terms right when you so so this is an approximation this is three point midpoint formula midpoint formula so this is the midpoint formula approximation to this uh, first derivative at xi right and this is the error is so we have discussed those things right now so we know that here so if the so here the order is 4 we know that if we make uh, m small the error term becomes uh, very small right so so I think you remember that I have talked about so here so let me get my pen right okay so so you remember so when you approximate so here you have x naught and here you have x1 and the, the gap between x naught and h x1 is h right so if you if you reduce this uh, cap that means if you bring this term to if you bring this term this x1 close to x0 what happened this cap the, the gap uh, is uh, this one reduces the gap between x0 and x1 reduces right so you can reduce h right when you reduce h you know that from the error term this becomes very small but when you bring this term x1 close to x now i said i think you remember i said the round of error will kick in or will start dominating right let's see how it uh, will be right so so these are the so this is your x yep this is your yeah this is a point right so this is the middle point right this is the three point three point midpoint formula and uh, right so here x naught is the midpoint and x1 is here and your x minus one is here the gaps between any two consecutive uh, x's is h right so if you bring these two terms close to x naught uh, i said uh, the round of error will kick in will kick in right so let's see how it will happen right so you know that our computer has finite memory capacity you know it is not infinite so if you store if you ask a computer to store this number you know so you know this one is uh, is equal to uh, 0 0.333 if you write this one in, in decimal numbers right so you get 0 0.3333 and so on so you get infinite number of trees here right so we know that our computer has finitely many memory capacity so the com when the computer store one over three this uh, infinite uh, sequence cut uh, the computer cuts down this infinite set, uh, sequence from somewhere therefore therefore so we get it will generate round of error right that's the thing it will generate the round of error so when this one this is the actual uh, value and this one is the the value the computer stores right so this is the value the computer stores right 
right and this one is the round of error right all right so if you consider this one uh, one this is the actual value so this is the round of error and this is the store the value the computer store right all right so the distance the gap between these two will be the round of error right these are the round of errors right all right let's uh, plug these numbers into here what do you get what do you get f prime of x naught or you can take this whole thing to other side right minus minus you have to substitute these numbers this one and this one right so these are the computer the, these are the values that computer stores right in it right okay so distance between these two so this is the distance and this is the this is your round of error this is your round of error and this is your truncation error right you remember this is the truncation error and this is the round of error so what happens uh, right so what happens for small h we know that when you make this h small you can reduce the truncation error right but what happened to round of error round of error becomes becomes a very huge number right uh, as as a h becomes very small or h becomes very small what happened to round of error becomes this round of error will start dominates dominating right that's the thing right so 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 you can say this this one is bounded bounded by this epsilon right so this distance uh, modulus of yep, let's try that the modulus of p of x naught plus h minus e uh, uh let's see that. yep so e x naught minus h so this is bounded this value is bounded by epsilon over two something like that or two epsilon right two epsilon epsilon right this one is bounded by two epsilon right so therefore therefore your round of error so this is the so this is the actual value and this is your now this is your uh, approximation the the approximation that computer stores on itself right so this is the approximation that computer stores on it on its side drive right so distance between the modulus of this one and the modulus of these this quantity is bounded by this as uh, h uh, becomes very small what happened to truncation error truncation error will reduce but but what happened to round of a round of error will start dominating right of course here you have one over h that's the thing that's the thing i mentioned earlier in the lecture when you bring this term when you bring this xi xi yep when you bring this term close to x naught the center or this number uh even though your truncation error becomes very small uh, but the what is the other one the which one this is yeah, round of yeah, round of error 
will start dominate right as as h becomes very small right that's the thing that's the main thing you can yeah. so right so you will ask uh, what is the optimal value of h at which uh, error minimizes. so this is the optimal value right so this one is the optimal value for h uh, for this h uh, both uh, yep uh, both truncation error and numeric, uh, round of error is bounded yep you can mean this is the optimal error you have to pick h right so this is very important right so i think you remember when you bring this uh, point close to x node uh, uh, we know that the truncation uh, becomes very small but your your round of error will start dominating that's the concept right hope you understand this concept right